to Abraham. That's verse number one. Verse number two, Abraham looks up and he sees three men. Can I tell you in the doctrine of our faith, that's why we're Trinitarians. Hallelujah, because we believe in three in one. Hallelujah, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Some of y'all like the Son, but you ain't ready for the Holy Ghost. I, I, I can't hear nobody in here. If you want all three of them, look at your neighbor and say, I can't just sit still. If I just had the Father, I'd be wise. If I just had the Son, I'd have grace. But it feels like fire. Shut up in my bowl. I need all three of them. Abram looks up. Watch this. He sees all three of them. And when he sees all three of them, he says, watch this. I got to make a sacrifice. Hallelujah. He said, I can't stand in the presence of the divine and not give him something. I get concerned about saints who can come into God's house, be in all of this anointing. But we got to beg you to give him something. When I'm in the presence of God, hallelujah, I just want to give him everything that I have. Look at your neighbor and say, that's why I scream. Because I give him my voice. That's why I clap. I give him my hair. That's why I jump. I give him my feet. I try to sit still. But everything that's in me wants to give God something. I wonder if there's anybody in this place that just wants to give God you. If that's where you are, I dare you to give God your best shout. Like you giving him. Hey. Hallelujah. Be seated, please. Hallelujah. Be seated. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I feel you in the room. Hallelujah. I'm trying not to run through this place. Hallelujah. What I'm getting ready to say ain't going to mean much to most of the people on the road. That's why I'm only preaching to two of y'all per row. God said, Jamal, if you can find authentic worshipers, let them know in the next 24 hours, they are going to experience a visitation. Hallelujah. That when they look up, they're going to see angels in their room. I need those of you that hunger and thirst for the presence of El Eliyah. Would you lift up that hand like you want a visitation? Hallelujah, God. I want to hear your voice. I want to feel your hand. I need you to breathe on me. I need a visitation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all don't want to see him. Just, oh, I want to see him. That look upon his face. Hallelujah. I can't find anybody. If you want a visitation of the most high God. I dare you to lift up that hand and open up your mouth like you expect a visitation. God, I need you to walk around in my bedroom. I need you to break into my child's room. I need you to anoint my front door. I need you to sit in my car when I'm getting ready to go somewhere I shouldn't go. I need a visitation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see the plus. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Breathe on me. Breath of God. Hallelujah. I can't hear nobody. This is only for 500 real worshipers. Hallelujah. He said, Demar, you won't even need an alarm clock. I'm getting ready to wake you up. I can't hear nobody. He said, you ain't even got to check the alarm. When you hear something downstairs, that's me walking around your house. You need a visitation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be seated, please. Hello. 
<laughs> this ain't for everybody but those who hunger and thirst for righteousness would you just shout out loud I need a visitation I, come on say it out loud I need a visitation be seated please be seated right where you are I gotta show you something watch this they get to the house watch this Abraham and watch this the angelic visages they get to the front door of the house and watch what the presence of God says hallelujah the presence of God says, where is Sarah? Hallelujah. I'm in Genesis 18, verse number one. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to appear. Abraham looks up. He sees the presence of the Trinity. They follow him back home. And then the presence of God says, where is Sarah? What I'm getting ready to say to you, please brace yourself. I don't want you to tear your row up. Watch this. Uh, the visitation was not for Abraham. Y'all get me to the mission? The visitation was not for Abraham. Watch this. The visitation for who was stuck back at the house. Uh, Y'all ain't ready for what's getting ready to happen. He said tomorrow, warn 930 service. They better not shout too enthusiastically because they don't even understand the visitation ain't for them. Mm. The visitation that's getting ready to happen is for whoever is still at their house. God, I can't hear nobody that even though they thought they weren't coming to church today, God says, if you give me glory, whoever lives in your house is getting ready to have a visitation of the Holy Ghost. You ought to give God glory for every person in your house who get ready to have a visitation. Hallelujah. Be seated, please. Said, Abe, uh, I ain't even here for you. Hallelujah. I need to go visit somebody in your house who has given up on their dream. God, y'all, I thought y'all came to have church. He said, I need a breakthrough for somebody in your house who has abandoned their goals. He said, I need to sit on somebody in your house who's beginning to think it's too late for them to turn around. Hallelujah. He said, somebody in your house is getting ready to get their attention redirected. All I need you to do is get out the way so I can go anoint whoever is in your house. Because the devil thought he was going to choke him. But I came to tell the enemy, get your hand off everybody who lives in my house. I can't find no worshipers. I need you to shake your neighbor's hand and say, neighbor, my house has been under attack. I got the wrong church. My children have been in travail. My whole house has been seized. But the same power that's in this church is getting ready to go in my house. I can't hear nobody. God said by the time you get home, the spirit of your house will shift. By the time you get home, every nasty attitude is going to be arrested. By the time you get home, every disobedient child is going to have to submit. Y'all ain't talking back to me. I need you to shout if you want God to shift your house. God!
Be seated. My time is up. My time is up. You'll be seated, please. I need you to take that neighbor's hand. I need you to take that neighbor's hand, please. Who gave you permission? Who, who gave you permission to give up on them? Who died and made you God? You frustrated because you wanted them right on your timetable. I came to bear prophetic witness. Not for anybody in this room. But for the Sarah in your house. Notice the angelic presence didn't speak to uh, Sarah. She wasn't a worshiper. The angelic presence spoke to Abraham. The one who brought the sacrifice. The spirit of the living God is giving a word to you. For somebody in your family who ain't even here. God, I don't know whether I'm talking about your child, your sibling, or your spouse. But God told Abraham, as I tell this 930 service, whoever in your family has been unproductive, give me one year. God, I can't hear nobody. The people in your family who have not been productive in the next 12 months I'm getting ready to force them in the labor God I can't hear you that everything I put in them is getting ready to come to pass hallelujah I don't know where you are but I need you to pull on that neighbor tell him I believe God for it I, I believe God for it and Sarah laughed I don't want you to give up that neighbor's hand. Sarah laughed. Why? Because she didn't believe it. Y'all not going to like this? God told me to tell you, if you can hear my voice, I'm going to bless them. Even if they don't believe it. Hallelujah. Because I don't even need their faith. I need your faith. I'm waiting on my church to show up. He said, 